Welcome to Shape Tracer 101, where you can practice programming from home. I'm going to be walking you through some simple steps to play this really fun game that will teach you some programming skills. Let's get started. The company that created Shape Tracer is also the company that produced the Ozobot Evo, which is the robot that I may have introduced to you in Steam class this year. Now, the awesome thing about the Ozobot Evo is there are two different ways that you can use um, your coding skills to direct the robot. So one of the ways that you can use to code the Ozobots are these really cool lines. It'll follow any black lines and then the different colors actually give it di different directions. And then you can also use a program on the computer called Ozo Blockly, which is what we're going to look at today. So here is the Ozo Blockly uh, games website. So if you type in games.ozoblockly.com, it will take you to this page. And then you can scroll down from there and find a few games. Um, you can also find out more about it if you want to purchase an Ozobot, which you can do, but it's not needed for this game. So there are several games here, but we're going to be playing the Shape Tracer 1 game. So go ahead and click on that. Once you click on that, it'll tell you a little bit about the game. Um, we're going to be learning about programming and just some basic things uh, for coding. And so we're going to be learning about movement and light effects. So if you play now, now we're on the Shape Tracer game page. And the first thing I want you to notice is up here at the top of the page, it says goal. You can click on that anytime during your level and it will tell you the goal for the level you are on. Now it says get the Ozobot to trace the line shown on the bot simulator on the right. That is over here. Um, next, you need to add light effects to match the color of the line. Now the light effects are over here to the left. You want to match the color. Now the color over here to the right you can see is green. Next we need to add movement and adjust for each square. Now there's these tiny squares and then big squares. So we need to go over here to movement and light effects and you can see the different options. The first thing you want to do is to set the light effect. So we need to see that it matches over here on the simulator and we need to set it to green. So just click on red and make it green. Now we're going to add some movement. So if we take that, we can actually click and drag it and it'll click here together and that's how you know it's ready to go. So you need to move it forward because it's facing forward and then you can play with the distance a little bit but if you count these tiny squares, um, each one of them equals one step. So all together, there are 10 steps. And you can change it to whatever speed you want. I'm putting on medium here. And then you can click run. Now when you click that, it'll run through the simulation on the screen on the right. And then if you did it correctly, it'll say success. Yay, you did it. Great job. And then if you look down here, and then if you look over here to the right, this is where you can load that program onto your Ozobot. And if you click help, it'll actually show you here how you can do that if you have an Ozobot or want to get one. That's really cool. I'll show you more about it in Steam next year. And then we're going to the next level. And once you click that, it'll take you to the next screen with a new goal. And if you look over here to the right, it's a little bit different. You've got a zigzag. And so you've got some new options over here. So we need to do our lighting effects first, as always. And it's already red, so we don't need to change that. Then we've got uh, move, and then we've got rotate. And rotate means to turn. So we're going to do move first, and click that here, snap it together. And then you can change the distance. And there are five steps here if you count them out. So I'm going to click five. And then I'm going to click run over here. Now, when you click run, it'll show you whether you're on the right track. And we are. So next, we need to rotate. We need to turn it to the right. So we go down here to the right. And then we're going to click run here. And we'll see what happens. And it did, it turned right. So now you can right click here 
on move and click duplicate instead of going over to the movement bar and that way you don't have to reset the steps and then you can click run and you can see it goes over to the next corner so now you need to rotate again and this time you're going to be turning to the left to complete our zigzag so if you clicked run it'll show you how that happens and it's moving okay now all we need to do now is to duplicate our forward movement again and let's see we did it success great job we beat level two now if you have an ozobot at home because i know that some of you do you can actually go over here to load ozobot and it's really fun i just want to show you when you click that it actually communicates through color what now we're going to move on to the next level. Now always remember, the first thing you need to do is to check your goal, and then you need to check your bot simulator over to the right. Now this one's a shape, but it also has two different colors. You need to make sure you're counting out the blocks and making sure that you're matching the colors for each count. And always go to run to see if you have done it correctly. Now from here on, you are on your own, and do not worry if you make a mistake. That is okay, you are not hurting anything. And remember from STEAM class, when you fail, you always have the chance to learn and try again. We cannot have success without failures. So keep on trying, try it a little different each time and see if you can do it. And I know you can, I know you're up to the challenge. So please let me know how this goes. Let me know um, your successes and share your failures and what you've learned from them. And I'm really excited to hear back from you guys about this awesome game. Have a wonderful week. I love you so much and I miss you and I'm praying for you every day. Bye. This is Brain Box. Brain box. Brain box. <laughs>